don't judge Jordan Ayu based on goals. Uh, that's a call coming in from BBC Sports journalist Bennett. We're going to have a listen to exactly what he had to say concerning the metric that we can use to better assess the performance of Jordan Ayu, who has divided opinion for so long in the Ghana football sphere. We're also going to talk about Antoine Semenyo, uh, who has become a person of interest for various clubs in the current ongoing transfer window. The club owner has revealed that they do not necessarily need to sell Semenyo. More details coming on that front and uh, also talking about Barbara Mann and he's not going to get a sniff of a chance at Chelsea. He's better off with another club, another report coming in. As usual, subscribe if you have not, click on the notification bell. To get more updates this video is sponsored by casa Preco company limited who are currently running a promo we'll buy any of the storm energy drinks awake uh, drinking water and puma drinks uh, on the neck you find a code dial star 780 hash choose option 2 and enter that code into there and you will probably win an all expenses paid trip to qatar 2022 World Cup to support ghana or instant prices promo is ongoing for this period and you can stand a chance to win something amazing during that time we'll jump right into it and we'll start from the camp of jordan Ayu, who according to a bbc sports journalist john bennett should not be charged on goals yes it's an unfair metric to charge jordan Ayu by according to him and he feels that a lot of the slate that he gets is based on the fact that he scores very little goals. But there's a side of his game probably we should be taking more note of. Right now, BBC Sports journalist John Bennett has stated that Black Stars and Crystal Palace forward Jordan should not be rated on goals alone. Jordan was unplayable for Arsenal fullback Zinchenko although Palace lost the game by two goals to nil on the opening night of the Premier League. Reacting to IU's performance, Bennett said Palace manager Patrick Vieira admires the Ghanaian for his work rate and selflessness. Sometimes we judge Jordan IU on goals alone. If you talk to Patrick Vieira, they really love his work rate and the fact that he's unselfish as well, he said as being quoted by AfricaFoot.com. And now, he added uh, that Ayu should not be limited to scoring goals only. I think we shouldn't underestimate his work rate and what he gives uh, to the team. It's not just about the goals for Jordan, John Bennett said. Uh, Jordan Ayu ended his 12 months, 13 days goal drought for the national team after scoring in Ghana Pan, 4 1 defeat in the Kieran Cup against Japan. For Crystal Palace, he ended his nearly four month scoreless run with a goal in a 3-0 win against Arsenal back in April 2022. So goal scoring is not his forte, his work rate. And you can really see it, especially I noticed it in that game versus Madagascar. And then when he was out of that game, uh, we played versus, I think uh, it was in one of the friendlies also, I think Central African Republic, the subsequent game. His work rate, is really something that helps others to do better especially that goal we scored versus nigeria that got us to the world cup he pulled the defenders towards him passed the ball to gideon mensah who found party in acres of space to slot it into the back of the net probably probably we should be reassessing how we judge jordan Ayu, but sometimes it's undeniable that he cuts a frustrating figure on the pitch, not picking out the right passes at times, not finding a better teammate in space, but it's undeniable that uh, Jordan Ayu is a workaholic. He works for the team and he is selfless. And that is one trait and one reason why he will keep starting and playing for Crystal Palace. The coach likes that. Do you think we are being unfair judging him by just goals? Let me know your thoughts on this assessment by John Bennett here in the comments box. My next story has to do with a Ghanaian player. He's in the person of Antoine Semenyo. Yes, uh, there have been rumors making the rounds that Semenyo uh, could uh, possibly leave Bristol City. But the owner of Bristol City has said they do not really need to sell him. Bristol City owner Steve Lansdowne 
has opened up on the future of Ghanaian forward Antoine Semenyo and amid interest from other clubs. Uh, the forward has become a subject of interest for several clubs including Sochi's Giants Celtic and Premier League club West Ham, Brighton, Crystal Palace and Bournemouth. And uh, it's understood that, that Bristol City turned down an offer from newly promoted Nottingham Forest. Speaking about the future of the duo, Antoine Semenyo and Alex Scott last down had disclosed that there are no offers on the table for the players. He added that the club would not cash in on the assets this summer. The first thing you have is an offer for them, which we haven't got. How do we retain them? They are under contract. Antoine has got two years. Alex has got three. And we don't need to sell them. And we don't want to sell them. So like all these things, they have to be offers to make you change your mind because the money can be reinvested to bolster uh, the rest of the squad. We did it with Adam Wester. We didn't want him to go, but he was adamant he wanted to. So we put a price tag on him uh, that gave us a good return on him. That's business. I think the transfer market is only with the Premier League sides. They have the capital to do it, the owners who can put the money in to do something, but strictly speaking, I don't think that's there anymore. Why would Alex or Antoine want to go to someone else in the championship? They have fantastic facilities here. It's a great club to be part of, great teammates and a progression that they have seen in their own careers but when a Premier League club comes in for them, that's when it's difficult to turn down. And I wouldn't stand in their way, he told BBC Radio. So the owner of Brighton, Bristol City, they're clarifying the air on Antoine Semenyo's future. And the fact that if a good proper offer comes from a Premier League top side, they might be ready to let them go and uh, he would not stand in their way of making it to the top leagues. Quite interesting there. My final story has to do with uh, Baba Raman. It's been reported that he might not get a sniff into the Chelsea team. And with Callum Hudson-Odoi, one of the players, also struggling to get playing time, it's quite clear Baba Raman would be one of them. A BBC broadcaster John Bennett has said that Black Stars defender Baba Raman will not have an atom of opportunity at Chelsea in the English Premier League this season. Raman, who spent last season alone at Reading, missed out on Chelsea's preseason tour in the club's 1-0 win over Everton on the opening day of the season. Now, according to Bennett, the former Asante Kotoko fullback will not have a sniff of first-team football in the new season. Baba Raman is going to get absolutely nowhere near a sniff of an opportunity at Chelsea, he said. I hope he can find somewhere near his level again. Baba Raman joined Chelsea in 2015 from Augsburg for £14 million, and which could nearly rise to £22 million. After a lackluster debut season, he has spent the last five seasons on loan in Germany, Spain, France, England and Greece. Baba Raman needs to look out for himself and find a new club. John Bennett here clarifying that this season once again he will be on the sidelines, not a sniff of a chance. Let me know your thoughts and comments box on that and where do you think he can go possibly? That has been it for today. Talking to you about Ansoa Semenyo's future, the owner said they are not obligated or in a hurry to sell him off, especially not to a fellow championship club. Probably a Premier League club with a good offer might be able to convince them to sell. We've also been talking about Barama not getting a chance the Chelsea this season and uh, Jordan Ayew we shouldn't judge him based on goals alone let me know your thoughts and comments box on everything I'll see you guys in the next one have a great day enjoy the rest of the week